Good morning everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. Today we will learn more about the difference between the fish scales and the reptile scales. Let's start. So first of all, we always said two things that the fish has what? Look at these scales. We used to call them loose scales. And how about the reptile like the lizard over here? We said that look at these scales. They don't look the same, right? We call them connected scales. Now let's look again at these pictures. Can you see the scales of the fish? Look at them. They look loose. They are loose scales. But the ones of the alligator, if you looked at them, they are connected from everywhere. So we call them connected scales. What do we mean by loose? We mean that they can be detached individually from the skin while the alligator or any reptile has connected scales and they are connected from all the sides of this scale. So you cannot detach it easily. Let's see an example. Look at the fish here. When your mom is cooking, it can detach the scales very easily because they are what? Because they are loose, so they are detached easily. But the reptiles, of course, you cannot detach these scales easily because they are connected from each part of it. Now this is a close up on the scales. The first picture for which animal? This is the scales of the fish. Because can you see on the sides of it? Look more carefully. It is not connected to the other scales. So this is only connected from one place and it's not connected to the others. How about this? This is the snake and it has what? This one has loose scales and this one has connected scales. This is our lesson for today. We need to memorize and understand that the fish has loose scales and the snake has, or the reptiles in general have, connected scales. Now let's see these animals. This is the dolphin and this is the whale. It's a type of whale. Can you see any scales? Do we have scales here? How about the whale? Does the whale have scales? No. No, both of them, they look very smooth, right? So, what do you think? To which animal group do dolphins and whales belong to? I want you to answer me this question. So, think about it and solve your homework. And now, enjoy the following videos and pictures for these amazing animals. Goodbye everyone.
Thank you.